Hey everyone, we managed to work out the Tosca WM format. This means world mesh, the area we can walk on. This is important to know so that monsters and other things don't spawn underground or walk through hills or buildings. We worked out the file format from hex data like this. We made Node.js read the format and output it into an animated file format like this. Which then we can load into animator. Although it's rather grain boring, I added a red sphere which is at the same location I am in game. This is done by reading the game's memory for my location and writing it into animator's memory for the location. You can see that where I am in game is represented in animator, so if I walk this way, we should see the red dot moving, and it'll move across the terrain. There it is. Let's change to top view and find it again. There it is. The game uses an interesting format. Where there are walls, they are not walkable. And this is the area you see here that's transparent. Although it is interesting that I was stopped before, so there must be some other sort of world format that knows where we can and can't walk. Let's do something interesting and switch it back the other way so that where we are in animator is where we are in game. change the operation.
seems like the wrong location actually. Address for the camera. There we go, now it more closely represents what this is. Okay, so now this is the fourth one. Awesome. So, yeah, we know where we can and can't walk. I don't think so. Let's try hell. So there's a circular thing over here we can't walk into. And we can't open for it. Okay. So if you've ever wondered why you can't walk somewhere in the game, this, and you wanted to, this is the fire you'd have to hit it. It's a real estate flood. Switch it around. Um, it seems once again I've got the wrong direction.
Yeah, got it now. Isn't that cool? Oh, I'm going to go ahead and switch this back. 